Hey Tauruses, what's up? It's Sunny Avi, and I'm here to give you guys your monthly for February 2019. Keep in mind that these are generals. Other uh, things that I discuss may not resonate with you. It should be alright, honey. I do recommend that you get familiar with your natal chart because other aspects and houses within your natal chart may make more sense to you than your sun, your moon, and your rising. And if you would like a personal reading with me, please connect to my website, which is in the description box below. Um, disclaimer with my readings, I do curse, I do talk fast. And um, due to me reading a lot of different energies, my readings can be pretty jumpy. Now, y'all, when I connected with y'all's energy and when I was telling the angels, all right, let me do Taurus, everything just kept going wrong, low key. Like my computer, um, my camera to my computer wouldn't work. I kept getting distractions. And it was just like, what's going on? What's going on? So, um, I feel like for the month of February, you guys need to be aware of the forces that are coming towards you. Make sure that you have a strong agenda that showing got really, really strong. Um, and that you are determined to do things the way that you are meant to do them. Not what you want to do, okay? Not how you want to do it, but just how the energies, like your divine God and angels, the universe, whatever, like what they are telling you to do. I know that sounds kind of weird because it's like, what, honey? But I feel like for some reason, you are going to receive help from your angels and it's like they're coaching you during this time and you're going to have to be able to make sense of what they're telling you in order for you to pass a particular mission and this applies for those who have been having a very hard time with getting ahead feeling as if they're doing the right thing feeling as if they're completing goals etc and all that and i just feel like you guys you just need to be in tuned and aligned yourself with what the angels are telling you rather than what you want because they're saying what you want is not enough to get what you want hopefully that makes sense hopefully that makes sense but like i said in the previous videos um i stated that i feel like you guys missed my long videos i'm gonna try to do this channel i'm gonna try and if you hear noise in the background, it's my kids, okay? But let's see what's going on for my Tauruses. For some reason, just off the gate, I feel like there's going to be something significant happening in, in the month of July. Whether you guys um, are going to feel much better about things. Um, July may be your favorite month. Um, who knows? Let's see what's going on for February 2019. Give me three cards and we're just going to go from there. January 2019 for Tauruses. Mm. This card popped out the first time. That card popped out the first time. So y'all are going to have an extra card. So that's really interesting. You came back. Alright, give me three cards. What's going on for Tauruses for February 2019? What's going on? No. Girl. Okay. All right, let's see what's going on. So, I feel like you guys are in a place of feeling as if, once again, you lack direction. For some of you, okay? Y'all, let me, I'll be right back. All right, take two. Let's, let's see how this goes. See, y'all, it's just like noise, distraction. I don't know if this month is going to be noisy or it's like you have to make sense of the madness. You have to be aware that there's other forces, once again, either trying to hinder you, help you, slow you down, control you. Or maybe um, you, need to, you need to be mindful of you having those qualities towards other people. But... Um, like I was saying, I'm trying to remember. I think I said something about direction. Um, 
And I feel for this is for those who have a strong Taurus moon. Um, or if like your moon is being afflicted some way, somehow in your natal chart for some reason. Um, I feel like this is going to hit you strongly. Or if you have um, a lot of air sign within your chart. For some reason, I feel like the air sign and your Taurus, wherever that's located, um, for some reason, I just feel like it's not really getting along and it's causing for you to, I keep picking up on the word jester, to keep having this jester. I'm just going to say that word, pop it in there if it makes sense. Oh, well, if we don't, mm. <laughs> that it's, it's just like you're going through mental madness and it's like, you're trying to make sense of why it's there. You're trying to make sense of why you're here. I just feel like many of you guys are going to be questioning a lot in the month of February. And you may find yourself wanting to be around people and friends who you haven't spoken to in a while. Or just, you know, like you may find yourself wanting to make new friends to kind of replace those who are not in your life currently. Um... I do see where some of you guys are having trouble sleeping. Okay. It's like the nighttime really gets to you. Either you will become a night owl. You will notice more spiritual activities at night. Um, or you're having weird dreams. Or maybe you are afraid to dream. Because in reality, like, your dreams are just basically telling you what's going on and just something that you really don't want to see i do feel for many of you you need to be mindful of you projecting out negative energy i hate to say this i keep picking up for some of you like there's someone willing to help you this person is strong-minded and flip it honey this could be you to towards somebody else this person is strong-minded they've been through a lot i keep picking up on a veteran whether you're in the army, um, you have some sort of status title, or vice versa, or like this person has been through a lot and they have a lot of knowledge towards your situation, vice versa. And I feel like this person, they're trying to be there for you, um, but it, it isn't appreciated. Like this person feels as if you aren't really warm to them. And this person may feel as if they are sacrificing a lot because of you and the things that you've done and or during during this time, vice versa, flip it to how it resonates. For some of you, I do feel like there may be issues in regards to family. Maybe you're going through a divorce during this time. Maybe you feel separated from your family. Maybe your parents are going through a divorce. Um, maybe you're noticing um the effects of your parents divorcing or being separated some way somehow like you're seeing how that affects you like you just want a happy family you you want people to be there for you you want to feel loved you want a role model maybe for some of you this is what you want for your children and with you having a hard time with love it's it's making you feel cold it's making you question your self-worth. It's making you question your beauty and the things that you have to offer with love. And this can cause for you to feel very cold and or be cold towards people, even your children, even if you don't intend to do so. I just feel that many of you guys, like you're being cold towards people who are there for you because that's how you feel inside. Like you feel unhappy inside because of something. And I feel like it's in regards to what someone has done to you whether this past or present example like you're taking your pain out on your mother because your father isn't there you know like i just i just feel like you're just like projecting pain out upon people who truly don't even deserve it really or you're dealing with someone who is going through this and you're trying to figure out why why is this happening i am picking up for some of you if you are in the middle of a custody issue for some of you this is okay wait, 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 wait let me go back for some of you if you're dealing with custody um i feel i keep hearing to separate the kids separating the kids yes the kids are going to be separated some way somehow um 
and I keep picking up on you or the person needing to like write out a list of okay when this child stays with me when does this child stay with you or like is it safe for you to be around the kids unsupervised I feel like for some reason like there needs to be things written out um but for some of you I do see court hearing really really soon in regards to custody in regards to fouling i keep picking up on the word fouling in regards to divorce um the angels are saying this is going to happen before the month of june okay like in the midst of summer in the midst of summer that's what the angels are saying from june to the midst of summer um that's what's showing up okay um I am picking up for many of you who don't have kids at all. You may be having baby fever. And, you know, maybe you want to find someone who, once again, like you can really feel secure with, someone who's really there for you. And you're trying to put everything out on the table, like to your divine God and angels. Maybe you need to do this. You know, let them know the type of partner that you want so that you and the universe aren't confused. Because I am picking up on particular confusion when it comes to the things that you want. Because the universe is like, okay, we hear you, but you know you have to make changes, right? You know you got to do things differently, right? You know you're going to have to quit that job if you are unhappy, right? So, like, you know, you say you want this, but we don't see you progressing. So, what? what's the tea, honey? And I feel for some of you, it's just like, you're just kind of moseying along like you're just letting things go on you're just <sighs> taking things with a grain of salt but it's like you're just letting the salt affect your wounds like it's how how can you expect the change when you keep once again taking things with a grain of salt and just being low-key nonchalant about it the angels are like we want you to feel passionate about life again we want you to be mindful of everything that you have some of y'all you're in a position where you're taking something for granted and that's very unfortunate for some of you you are in a situation where you are misusing your power or it's like, I keep picking up on like fluctuation. Like one minute you have a lot of energy, then the next you you don't have energy, and it's just like y'all, you're putting your energy and your thoughts into unnecessary things. It's like you're worrying about something that you should worry about because you low key know what you gotta do. Or once again, you're in a job that you really don't like, or you know that you're being used, and you're trying your hardest to be noticed. Really interesting because I said this for the Geminis, I think. And you guys are right beside the Geminis. So that's really, really interesting. I just feel like some of y'all, you need to take care. Y'all saw that card. I feel like for some of y'all, <laughs> you need to take care of home matters. Some of you, you definitely need to start your own business. That showing got really, really strong. You have the ability to lead. The angels, they want you to understand that you, honey, in a way, you are the leader but in the physical realm you are the leader in the spiritual realm hell no you have to elevate yourself you have to understand what you're doing right now in the physical realm so that it can make sense in the spiritual realm you can't try to make sense of what the angels are trying to tell you if nothing is going right or making sense within your own brain and within the physical realm it's, it's not going to work that way and hopefully that makes sense but i just feel like y'all are just you're going in circles when it comes to you trying to find out your purpose and your direction within life. I just see y'all are just questioning a lot of things during this time. For some of you, you need to be careful of ego. Being in a position of you not wanting to hear, I told you so. Or like accepting help. Not showing up really, really strong. Not accepting help. Not wanting the help. Whether this is from... A human or your divine God and angels. I definitely, I definitely see where some of you guys, you are in a position of like you kind of not trusting yourself or you not trusting the process. 
Be careful of you doing things behind someone's back or someone doing things behind your back because deception in a way is very strong during this time. But some of you guys, it's like you are aware of it. Like you know of this deception. Whether you had a feeling of it or someone told you, hey honey, I'm going to file for the worst if you don't straighten up. Like I, I just feel like you have been warned to a particular degree whether it was from a person or your angels. But there was this disbelief. For many of you, there's an ongoing battle within yourself where you're where you're fighting between your emotions, your heart, um, your brain. And you just don't know what to do. Some of you guys I am picking up on a conflict in regards to your money. For some of you, I am picking up on um, not getting along with mother or the female within your life during this time. Yep, the female within your life, there is karma between you and the female within your life. Or you're having issues in regards to your feminine self with your emotions. You're trying to make sense of that. Okay, for some of you, I am picking up that you are waiting for luck to come in. I am picking up that many of you guys, you're, you are receiving a lot of like superstitious type of signs. That's showing up really, really strong like black cats, ladybugs, constantly seeing numbers, feathers. Um, for some reason, I feel like a woman is coming into your life. A red haired woman. And she's going to help you some way, somehow. A, rare, a red haired woman. Whether it's auburn. It's like a brownish red, whether it's light, whether it's um, light, dark, it's natural or dyed. I feel like this woman is coming into your life to help you. And there will be good luck with this person. This person, they're going to help you with some sort of some sort of stability some sort of backbone for some of you this may be a fine uh, um, financial advisor for some of you a lawyer for some of you a, for some of you a therapist teacher counselor whatever the case may be real estate agent for some but this person this female she doesn't want to um lead you down the wrong path and she she's going to be willing to help you out Ooh, some of y'all need to understand the karmic ties that you have towards family and money and stability. Some of y'all are in a toxic situation in regards to family where you feel weighed down or you feel like people are relying on you too much or they've done so in the, in the past. And I do see where some of you guys, there's an energy of you feeling left out or forgotten. You feel like someone isn't listening to you. You feel like someone doesn't understand you. And for some of you, you may be looking back at your life. Like whether whether it was three days ago, three months ago, three weeks ago, uh, three years ago. Maybe when you were 3, 13, 23, 33, whatever. For some reason, number three is popping out in regards to a particular memory. Um, that you're, you're looking back on your life and you're like... So this all started. This is when the downfall started. For some of y'all, be careful of injury. Like you aren't paying attention and you trip and fall on some ice. You're driving and you don't pay attention to the light being red and you keep driving. For some of you, I am picking up on a birth. A new baby is coming into the picture. And I feel like this baby brings karmic lessons. This baby is an indigo child or spiritual child, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, confirming. This baby is a gift. Oh, no, what the hell going on? Yeah, this baby is a gift. It, it, this baby's going to be a genius. This new baby coming through. Whether this baby actually comes in the month of February um, or you conceive in the month of February. But I keep picking up on like this baby is a water element. Whether um, they're going to be a water sign. They have a lot of water sign within the chart. This baby. Um, like you and the mom or you and the dad. 
decide to do a um, water birth you guys give birth in a hospital that's beside a lake or pond river stream whatever the case would be I keep thinking of a water element with this child and this child they're going to be a genius just child, just this child has the ability of being um very profitable and a millionaire as well really interesting But for some reason, I keep picking up on a cord, like a karmic cord when it comes to this child, this new, this new child that's coming into the picture. Well, either you're going to have great lessons right after this child comes, um, or you may notice like the karmic cord is broken when this child comes because this child may give you the ability to be you know like you're going to like really open up your eyes and say okay I have to take care of this kid you know I have to be responsible I have to do what I have to do as a mom or as a dad and take care of this child but if you choose to not be there fully then that's when the lessons are going to hit you hard for some of you unfortunately you are going through a waiting game like it's, it's a waiting process for you to get what you want because the universe they want you to realize the fuck you got going on in the physical realm they they want you to make sense of the physical realm before you can go to the spiritual realm and i think i said this low key for y'all's like 2019 annual i think i did because you guys are so smart but i just feel like you're letting things get to y'all Some of you guys are meant to have some sort of um, mathematical type of career. Like you do well with numbers once you get the hang of it. Or maybe like you need to see things as math. Like calculate everything. Add it up, subtract it, divide it, multiply it. Like figure out your life in, in math terms. For some of you, you uh, yeah, you're gonna have to go through disaster right now in order for you to um get what you want. I am picking up for some of you that maybe talk to traveling. Make sure you aren't traveling for love because I don't see that going well. Whether you're moving to this person. Or you're just traveling back and forth to see this person for some of you you are dealing with someone who is cheating on you I hate to say or giving you a bunch of false lies vice versa especially if there's like constant travel between you and this person yeah other people are in the equation for some of you um, if you are in a relationship, I do see where there may be interest in other people, especially if that relationship isn't doing so well. Yeah. Some of you, you're trying to see the potential in a relationship that you need to walk away from or that someone has already walked away from. All right. Are we done? Right now, I'm just seeing where you guys are moving up within life but it's in a very awkward position to be honest and it's like you really have to figure it out from an intellectual point of view but i just feel like with you guys like just constantly thinking about like oh why is this happening to me what's going on da, da, da. like why am i doing this and like with y'all like constantly doing the same i hate to say it dumb shit <laughs> i just feel like you aren't advancing the way that you want to because within this month and honestly within this year it's really all about advancing like getting that higher degree getting that higher type of job becoming that high vibrational person that you want to become but it's just like you have to go through tough lessons you have to go through tough tests and i feel like you know maybe right now y'all not really prepared to do so so you know you are gonna have to figure out what you got to do all right, and really listen to your divine God and angels because they're really there for you. All right, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this reading. Good luck with everything, and I shall see you guys next week. Yeah, you boy.